My name is Curtis Bowman. Uh, I work for AMD and I'm also the chairman of the UA Link group. Uh, UA Link is Ultra Accelerator Link. Um, and what we did was we set out with a, a small group of companies to take on uh, the ability to do scale up in uh, a pod form. So it's really about connecting accelerators. And most people think of accelerators, I think of GPUs. And being able to get that to scale to where models fit into it, the, the challenge we get into is, you know, a single GPU has a limited amount of memory. And because of that, it's very hard to increase the model size without adding more GPUs. And what you see is UA Link goes, uh, allows uh, up to uh, 1024 GPUs to be connected together. And that increases your memory size, it increases your, your compute size as well. So you can really start to look at those very large models, right? Where we're talking about, you know, millions or even billions of uh, parameters in a model, you know, growing to trillions over time. And what we see is we, we need to be able to have, you know, tens or hundreds of uh, GPUs in an inference system. And then you may even need, you know, hundreds to tens of thousands of GPUs for a training model. And, and so UA Link is the stepping stone to get to those and get a, get your GPUs connected. And the group of companies that are helping to lead this effort are companies like Alibaba, AMD, Apple, Astera Labs, AWS, Cisco, Google, uh, HPE, Intel, Meta, Microsoft, and Synopsys. And those are the people that make up the board. Uh, and then we've got an additional uh, 75 plus members that are helping us uh, make sure that the spec stays up to date. Um, and we'll, we'll actually see that first spec come out in March of 2025. And that's just to connect these GPUs together, start sharing. And the things that, that we, we believe the UA leak brings to the industry is the ability to um, do this scale up in a very power efficient way, also very low latency, which is important as you're sharing memory, latency becomes a key piece. And then it also allows for uh, a very efficient communication between these devices. And it, it's just a single switch hop between devices. And so we keep our, our latency low and we keep the, uh, the way to communicate between the devices uh, very simple. Um, and what you see is, you know, we started this effort with a small group of companies in May of 24. Then we opened up the consortium in October of 2024 to members. Uh, like I said, we're now at that's a little over 75 members. In January of 2025, we then added some more board members, and that brought us up to the 12 that I spoke of earlier. And then we've got our spec that will be out at the end of March. Uh, what you're going to see is the connections rate is at 200 gigabits per second. Uh, and because you can have multiple lanes, that gives you 200, 400, or even 800 uh, gigabit per second between GPUs. This does go through a switch. And so you'll see a switch or multiple switches that can be used to connect all these GPUs together. And that's what really keeps your data rate high. It allows for that uh, load, store, and atomics operation. Uh, which is a key difference from something that might be I.O. bound. Uh, if you think of Ethernet, very great network. But when we start to want to talk about sharing memory, we need something that speaks the language of those GPUs, which is load stored atomics. Uh, then you know, as you get into uh, where are we going to grow? Well, we see the, the main uh, place of interest is you know, competing with NVIDIA's NVLink. Um, and that's this is an open standard to try and do some of the same things that NVLink does. And so we see the opportunity to grow in some areas that include things like uh, collectives, um, becoming more power efficient even than we are now. And then, um, you know, incorporating more features like maybe connection to external memory sources or external storage sources, uh, maybe even adding some uh, things like uh, um, coherency hardware coherency to this interface. A lot of people will ask, you know, when, when you say low latency, what do you mean? What we're talking about is a low latency protocol that inside the switch is somewhere between 100 and 150 nanoseconds pin to pin. Uh, and because there's only one switch in the middle, that makes for a very efficient link uh, to that memory. Um, 
you know, power is lower because actually the, the silicon size is smaller than you'd see in a, a similar Ethernet setup. And so that makes it very simple for this to be in, integrated into uh, chips that, that uh, our different customers and our, our uh, members want to create. Right now, our first spec is all about uh, copper. And so, you know, copper at 200 gig is limited to a few meters. And so that's kind of the stretch without adding a, a repeater or something to, to boost the signal again. Um, so, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd make that trade-off. Um, as we look forward, optics is something we do want to add into the specification. And I think we'll see that as something we consider adding as we go through 2025. Um, Jay Metz, who is the chair of uh, UEC, and I talk quite often about how do we make these two work together. Um, if you remember earlier, I said, you know, when you're, you're looking at, at training, uh, you may want to have tens of thousands of GPUs. Um, and UA Link kind of tops out at the thousand mark. Um, so in order to get those very large instances, you'd use UA Link to create your pods, and then you'd use UEC or the Ultra Ethernet to connect those pods together. Uh, so UA Link becomes a scale up fabric, and UEC becomes a scale out fabric. Um, and that way you can grow to very large sizes. UEC, I believe right now, is imagining uh, up to a million GPUs as the maximum number in their their. Um, and, and we've actually had some good joint presentations between UA Link and UEC to, to help people understand, you know, you need both in those very large scenarios. And then finally, just summarize it up, UA Link is a, an open, uh, scalable ecosystem, ecosystem uh, primarily focused on efficient, low latency, high bandwidth uh, across, you know, hundreds of GPUs. And uh, our initial spec will be ready in uh, March of 2025.